What's up guys, Kim Foos here with Foos for Trading. Just want to go over trade ideas, how to install our template layout, as well as how to actually read it and what it all means. So first of all, click that Dropbox link that I have there in the article uh, and go ahead and download that. Once you have that default layout, you simply just go to, once you have your trade ideas open, go to File, Open, load layout from here it's going to bring up this box wherever you download it whether it's in your downloads folder your desktop you just go I, for me it's on the desktop so i would just click this right here default layout and then it's going to automatically open that layout and you also want to take this file so that it opens up and it continually opens up move this file to your default settings area on tc2000 so you would want to click this copy and then you'd want to navigate towards uh usually it's under this pc documents trade ideas pro you can see default layout that's the actual default layout there so you would just want to move that there or paste it right here uh into the actual area that way it automatically opens up the default layout with this same exact layout at the same time and then from there you know if you want to move these boxes around, do whatever you want, maybe change some things, you can go ahead and click File, uh, Save Layout uh, to your desktop, wherever you want to save it, or if you want it to open up every time, or you can do Save or Share to Cloud. This is good if you're switching computers and you can open up this, save, uh, this layout into the cloud from a different computer. So whether you're traveling or moving computers, that's just an easy way to do that. But let's get into what these scans actually are. So. You know, every day, you guys, when I first wake up, I'm looking for what's hot, what's moving, and that's what you're going to use, the Foos4 F1 and FU Gap Scanner. This is going to give us all the hottest gappers of the day. This is basically what's moving pre-market, okay? So this is basically only a pre-market scanner. We want to look and see what stocks are actually making moves pre-market so that we can get ready to potentially trade the F1s, potentially trade the FU breakouts. Uh, these are the hottest plays of the morning. They usually have news out. We're getting ready to fire away on these. Cat B was a great example of one here. Um, it was a gapper uh, that potent ended up breaking an F1 and then turned into an FU breakdown. Uh, Money Marv took a nice trade on this uh, opportunity here as well. So that's going to lead me into my next scanner here, guys, which is my top short scanner. This is going to look for all stocks that are overbought going parabolic on daily chart. These are my favorite stocks to trade. I'm constantly looking for stocks that have made big moves to the upside on the daily chart. So with the top short stock list, this is going to sort the top plays that we're looking for to short. It's going to give you the biggest list of all the plays that have been making parabolic moves on the daily chart. So we are automatically looking for those as potential shorts. This is going to be very easy for you to find all the best shorts on a daily basis because they're already listed right here on the top short. So cat B was one of them, C-A-T-B. That's what we're looking at right here. Um, every, every day there's going to be amazing shorts um, listed on the top shorts. In addition, pre-market scans are going to show you what's the most active and moving right now. Um, Next up here, guys, is Volume Blaster. You can see RGSE firing away right now. So we'll take a look at RGSE, what's going on. Uh, boom, it's breaking out, increased volume here, moving on new highs. So the Volume Blaster, guys, is going to tell you what stocks all of a sudden have a sudden surge of volume as well are making movements. So this is definitely important, you know, if you're bored, sitting, looking for something to trade, but nothing's moving that you're actually watching. The Volume Blaster will constantly be scanning in real time, second by second, stocks for looking for stocks that are all of a sudden making surges in price, as well as a big surge in buying uh, or selling pressure um, so that you can see everything that's making moves right now up to date up to the second with the volume blaster. So it's a great tool to see what is moving right now in the market. Uh, again, this is gonna move into, we're gonna skip parabolic over bot for now. We'll go right into the Foos4 high day momentum scanner. This is gonna basically look for all stocks that are making new highs. So uh, this'll tell you what stocks are breaking out of F1s at the open. It'll tell you what stocks are making huge moves at the open as well. And it'll tell you from there what stocks are also now making new highs, breaking out the new highs throughout the session. So you can see here, a lot of these kind of work together. We saw RGSE 
suddenly getting a huge surge in volume and movement right here. And then it triggered the high day momentum scanner because it triggered new high day. So this is going to show us stocks that, okay, this thing is breaking out on volume and now it's on new highs because we can see it all happening in real time right here. So these are all designed to show you what are the hottest movers in real time at that moment, okay? These are the actually intraday ones. The F1 scanner, uh, the gapper scanner, and the top shorts list, those are ones that are getting you prepared for these things, prepared for setups to trade. All the other ones are intraday movement scanners showing you what's happening in real time during the actual market session. The parabolic overbought scanner, this is gonna show you stocks that are making big moves to the upside intraday. So you know, we look for parabolic over under shorts that you learned in Foos4 Part 3. Uh, or if you have not gone through that, you uh, will eventually learn about it. And we look for these stocks to short. So we look for stocks that have made huge upside moves in a very short amount of time. And now they're in overbought stage. And we want to potentially take these things down short. So this is a great scanner for the parabolic over under short uh, setup that we like to trade. It's also going to be popping up over here on the high day Momo scanner. But sometimes it'll break a stock will break out of highs a day, but it doesn't mean it's overbought. It may just be trading sideways. Um, and then all of a sudden breaks out new highs. The parabolic overbought scanner is going to show you stocks that are, are on highs a day, but are also have just, you know, made moves to the point where they're now parabolic and overbought on an intraday scale. So I don't know when those actually triggered what time, but MBOT was the last one that triggered here. Uh, as you can see, MBOT had a major parabolic move up to 148 here. Um, it triggered a parabolic overbought signal at 146 right up here and now it's back down to 140. So it's going to show you everything that's on a parabolic move on the intraday scale. So it's an excellent scanner to be uh, constantly watching for potential stocks to hit on the downside of a trade. Uh, next up, Mc Dippy McDipperson. <laughs> this isn't one that I use a whole lot, but I still like to look at it. It's just going to show you what stocks are making huge dips to the downside. It's kind of like the reverse of uh the parabolic overbought ocrx is the actual ticker so it's going to show you stocks that have made major moves to the downside and you're actually dipping i don't typically trade big dips but every once in a while i might um but not really but sometimes i look to see what stocks are just making huge moves to the downside because sometimes it's just fun to see man that stock is getting crushed so uh i still have it open but not something that i typically use a lot to make any trading decisions i just like to see what stocks are also uh getting clobbered today uh the last part is just the profile over here um basically just going to show you different uh, stats about a stock i mainly only use this to find out what the actual float is of a stock um the reason being because tc2000 and trade ideas often have two different numbers and i tend to trust tct or trade ideas more than i do uh uh over tc2000 so we'll look at um cat b here uh, Cat B says 12.2. This actually says 12.2, so that's a bad example. What was another one? RGSE was another big mover today. This one says the latest float of RGSE is 7.5 million. TCT or Trade Ideas says the float is 1.85 million. So that is a very significant difference in a stock with a 1.85 million share float. That is extremely low. That's much more significant. Uh, to look at this stock from the perspective of, okay, it's got a $1.85 million float. In the first uh, 10 minutes or so of trading, it had already rotated the float twice. So being that it has float rotated the float, it's much more likely to potentially see a huge move. But if, if I was looking at only thinking that I had a $7.5 million float and it hadn't even rotated the float yet, that's, you know, that's a big deal. When a stock rotates a, where it rotates a float, that's a significant indication of a potential huge momentous day, as we saw here with RGSE. Uh, you know, open at 234, announced at 313, uh, up 284 percent on the day. So a very significant uh, difference to look at a stock that you might think has 7.5 million when actually it's got 1.85 million and rotated the float within the first 10 minutes of the day. So uh, it's important that you have the correct float. But anyways, guys, that is how I use trade ideas to find all the best stocks to trade based off of the FUS4 trading system that we have taught you. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,